this is a Dell Latitude D620, D630, or D820 BIOS battery replacement. It's good for all the three models. Okay, this is your primary battery. First, you want to remove it. You push these buttons outward, away from each other. And just slightly pull the battery towards you, and then left. Take that off. I got another battery in here too, a secondary battery. I'll leave a link in the description. This is the second, this goes where your CD-ROM drive is. Take that one out too. There's my secondary battery. I'll leave a link in the description. If you want to buy this one off eBay. Alright. Real easy process here. We're just going to remove the keyboard. Okay, get a flat, get a flat, a straight edge screwdriver. You want to go tilt the, tilt the, uh, tilt the display all the way back. You want to come over here in this corner here. Right here. There's a spot for, you can put, stick the screwdriver in there. You want to release this bezel right here. And it's going to bring the hinge, the hinge covers with it too. And you want to finesse this. You want to finesse it up real easy. It's it's clipped in underneath. It'll release. <laughs> Mine is a little tight. Just keep finessing it across there. And there, the last part came off. Okay, that's the bezel off the back there, above the buttons. Now you got three screws here. Mine are missing. <laughs> I'm running a little ghetto over here. I'm missing one right here. There's one one right here. One's right here. This is for the keyboard and one's right here. So I only have the middle one there. So let's get that out of there. Sounds like it's ready. Be careful with your screws. Be real careful that you don't lose them. I'm losing mine all the time. Oh, come on. There it is. Put that over there. All right. Now lift the keyboard in the back, and then pull it loose from the front. It's got these little notches in here. You'll see these notches on here. <laughs> Other bottom of the keyboard. You just tip it forward. And be careful. You got a ribbon connecting the keyboard to the motherboard right here. Just leave that connected. And now the BIOS battery is right here. It's right underneath here, and we got to remove that. The, the, the red and red and black cable here has got to be undone. I take a screwdriver and stick it underneath there. Just ease it up. It's it's connected to the motherboard there. There, I got it. Okay, I'm getting closer. Okay, now you just want to finesse it out of there. You'll see it. It'll come out. Take the cords. I'm trying to get as close as I can with the camera here. And just kind of wiggle it out of there. Let me stop the camera for a second. All right, I figured it out. You want to you want to lift this little black spot right here. This little lever right here. You just want it's, it's this plastic part that's covering it. You just want to lift it up enough to get the battery out. I might have to do it off. I can try and use my thumb here. There it goes. There it comes out. Okay. 
And there's a number on the battery here. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. And that's it for the. Uh, now we just replace it with a new battery. Uh, this ain't the new battery. This is the old battery going back in. I'll show you the process here. I'm gonna lift that again and try and use my thumb and just kind of finesse it in there, back into the spot. Kind of work with it. Just be careful. Be slow. The main reason you want to replace this battery is if your clock, if you notice your clock's running slow, or if your uh, date on your calendar's off, even a few years old, you want to replace this battery. It, it, it saves the clock and all that. It saves your settings and BIOS. Let me stop it for a second. I gotta use two hands on this. Okay, you want to get the. I just got the battery back. You got to connect it right here on this white. Try to pull in tighter. This white t square right here is where you're going to plug the battery in. Let me try and use. I got to stop for another second. 